The concept of the original persona was a single thing that helped me put together all the information that I had collected throughout my whole life in my search for understanding the inner world. When I was about six years old, I had this dream that we all had our own individual worlds. And I started obsessing about this. Do we all have our own individual worlds? How come we all have different experiences about things, but at the same time, we are all in the same experience? and our experience interconnect. What makes that possible? And I used to ask people to please describe to me what they saw when they were looking at something, at a tree, a car or something. And uh, I tried to understand from their point of view what they saw. And I realized that they were more than things that are apparent. There was some sort of agreement behind things, an agreement behind understanding and processing. It was something that was prior to the human experience of observing and learning that helped us come to the same kind of conclusions, like understanding things in a similar way. There was something that made things uh, look similar to all of us, but we don't really know what finally each of one of us is experiences. We only have agreements about what we think we're seeing, but we don't really know what we are seeing because we will never know unless we become the other person. So. This concept of the original persona came to me after years of research. I spent since then many years trying to learn the mind. I wanted to know how can I change my own mind. So I learned hypnosis, I learned past life regressions, energy healing, I learned metaphysics and many other modalities that helped me um, understand more the mind and how we can transcend the physical boundaries and all these things related to perception. So. What ended up happening is that after so much research and so much stimulation of this frequency, finally, in 2015, I had a, an experience of this concept of the original persona. And what happened then is that I had an experience of awareness that was so intense that it changed everything. It restructured my perception. It restructured my physical communication. It changed my emotional perception of myself, it changed my identities. I no longer was identified with things that I thought I was. My personality faded. It was more of a return to a, a purer state of being. And I understood that that was the original persona. And it took me a few years to be able to put this concept into words because it was an experience. How can I put this experience into words? It was very intense. And uh, I know what happened. And I, I wrote books about uh, the elevation of consciousness and the process, but now how do I explain what is behind all that process? What is the semantic meaning of that process? And that's how the concept of the original persona came to me. The original persona is that part of us that is inherent, that is natural, that it's what we understand as an original idea of creation. When we were created, before we were matter, before we were anything, in manifested, we were an idea. And this idea comes from a specific perspective of consciousness. Consciousness, universal mind, wants to experience itself from a particular point of view. And for that, it creates an idea. A being who can experience life from that perspective. The original persona is what makes us authentic, but at the same time allows us to be in the same experience and coexist and interconnect and exchange. It is that connection between us, is consciousness, is what takes us back to our source.